today I am going to edit three resumes of three of my Facebook group members and I'm going to do that using PDF Element. PDF Element is an all-in-one smart PDF editor which offers the easiest way to edit, convert, annotate, signed PDF documents from text to images, links, pages, watermarks, background, headers, and footers. PDF Element 7 is a new minimalist PDF editor and a great tool to maximize your document productivity. Today's video is in paid partnership with PDF Element. Dandro sent me a Microsoft Word a format document. So I'm going to show you how I was able to export this document to PDF Element. Uh, first, you just have to go to the File tab and then you can select Open. Then you can just browse and select the document. And now it's going to export that file. Finish, and then you have Zandro's resume right here. The brand new user interface of PDF Element is similar to Microsoft Word, so it's going to be easier to familiarize the interface. It's going to be a fast PDF editing for you. Aside from that, it also keeps the original font and format of your file. Now, if I want to edit this document, all I have to do is click this icon, which is to edit text and image object. So once I click that, you will see the properties right here. So let's just say we're going to edit Zanro's objective. This is just an example. So I'm going to put here, share my knowledge and expertise, type expertise. So there. And as you have edited, your document, you can just save it, just click File, uh, Save As, and choose which um, folder you want to save it. Currently, PDF Element is offering a 50% discount. PDF Element is really a great Adobe alternative and is also cheaper than Adobe. Now let's go back to editing the resume. He has a picture here. Uh, it's also okay to not add a photo anymore. It's really up to you. But if you want to keep it that way, it's also fine. I'm also okay with that. Uh, it's good that he has an objective. And it says to work hard in any task given and share my knowledge and skills to the company in the achievement of company goals. It is also acceptable to not add an objective anymore since when you are applying for a call center job, it's really very unpredictable in a sense that you don't know where you will be assigned. But it's also predictable in a sense that you can either be in customer service, tech support, or sales, healthcare, or travel. The ones that are really, really common. Have to fix the spacing and change this to lowercase letter C because it is not a proper noun and remove the period. Personal details, very important. This is actually already good. Dandro's resume is very neat and presentable and also very organized. The only comments I have are about the formatting and some details that are no longer necessary or relevant. Height and weight, I would just actually remove this if I'm the one making the resume. And another thing is, since I want my resume to be just at most two pages, I'd also remove the parents part. Now, this part is something that you'd add to a bio data. But since we are no longer using bio data anymore, it's more of like resume or CV, we can delete this part. And it makes your resume shorter. But education, this is good. I just need to edit the formatting. I would just move the date over here, of course, and then fix the spacing. And since you use all caps here, might as well just use all caps here too. So that it is more consistent. And same thing, I will move the date below. Since we're on the topic of making it consistent, we can make this all uppercase. Make it consistent, yeah. Education. 
I would probably do a bullet point format here so that it will look more cohesive, more organized, and cleaner to the eyes. Okay, this is already good. Since you mentioned communication skills here, might as well add what? Good communication skills, satisfactory, very satisfactory. There. This is a good way for you to highlight what you have been doing with your life, but I would just have to arrange the formatting. Okay, now let's arrange this. So OBM's disk list disk less setup and configuration manila date personality development and customer service training there assembly and disassembly of basic cpu so based on your based on the seminars attended your interviewer will have an idea that you are probably good in technology okay. oh you were a computer instructor once it's really good so there I arranged it for you and to make it clearer I'd probably just make this bold There. Affiliations. President, AMA Computers, Computer Programmer Society. Most likely add the word experiences first. If I am to do this resume. Work history or work experiences. Okay. So ASUS, Cousin City. There. Filing of documents. Small letter D. Make it shorter, just filing of documents, answering telephone calls, and encoding information. Make it shorter, make it brief and concise. So let's keep this in bold. Since this is very long, you can put, you don't have to write the entire address. Okay, you can just, for example, this. this one, for example. Okay. So just add that. This is it. Tanggay. Paliksahan Quezon City. Ensure network system and data availability through. Okay. Spelling. So, like what I said earlier, we can remove this and just include city. You can just say March 15, 2018 to present. Character references, you can please add two more names. See, with this kind of formatting, I wasn't able to see right away that you actually had two names here, which is why we have to pick the formatting. So, this is probably the first name. And make it bold. Make it consistent. So, first name, last name. So for this first name, you have to determine who he or she is. So we have to insert here the designation and insert phone number. And if you can add one more name, that would really be good. Shorter, you can also just make it three lines, like what I did here. The designation, and you can just do 
just add a dash. You don't really need to include the address. So just the name of the company. HR officer of what company? Like what I mentioned earlier, we're going to make it... We're going to have to move this card to... If you already have work experiences, it's much better to add this part to the first part of your resume. Since Zandro has a lot of work experiences, then it is okay to have three pages. Normally, I'd want to cut it to two pages, but since all of these pieces of information are relevant and necessary, it is okay to have at most three pages. So just to summarize what I did, I just adjusted the formatting and adjusted the spacing so that it looks neat and more organized. I also deleted the parent's information as well as the weight and height. I moved the work experiences part to just before the skills, uh, sorry, just before the education part. And that's good to go. I hope you learned something from today's video. If you want to learn how to write a professional resume, even though you don't have any call center or job experience, I also have a video about that. So I'm going to link it up there and go ahead and check it out after this video.